every group on this earth understands that you're in a team relationship. Racism is a team sport. It came into existence as a team. You play as a team or you lose by default. And only with black folk do people get upset when black folks start talking about coming together and uniting and working together and cooperating together, buying from each other and supporting each other. You know why? For a simple reason that everybody understands when you come together and unify, that signifies strength. And right now, everybody right now is pimping and hustling black folk. They've been pimping and hustling black folk for four or five hundred years. We spend approximately 97% to 98% of all our money outside of our own community, as an example. And we don't practice group economics, we don't practice group po politics. All that makes, when we spend 98% of all our money outside of our community, what that does, it makes the other groups enriched. They now are living off of two incomes. They live off of 100% of their money and 98% of our money. And what are we left with is 2% where everybody else is living off of 198% of everything, we live off of 2%, which makes it impossible. And so when you start talking about unifying black folk, that's a threat. They're saying, you're gonna cut off your money from us? You're gonna, you're gonna cut off, we, we're living off of two incomes. You're gonna reduce us down to one income? That's a threat to them. Also, it's a threat when you start talking about unifying blacks and looking out for your own people. That means political possibility of uniting as a political force in this country, which nobody wants to see. That's a threat because all the rest of the people in society are living privileged lifestyles based on what they came in here and got with, as immigrants. Black folk never had those, those, those lifestyles. So yes, it's a threat to them.